Good morning, caballeros. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Now please pause for a moment of silence. Oops, forgot I'm doing announcements. Well, I hope you guys are all doing well and getting ready for hybrid learning. Hybrid learning begins October 22nd, which is a Thursday. You should be getting in the mail during fall break, the day that you are assigned, um, that you're assigned to come on campus. And um, thank you, Mrs. Hurst, for working so hard to make sure that we do a good job trying to get friends coming up to school and family members coming to school on the same day. <clears throat> Big congratulations to our theater teacher, Mr. Pankratz, who is a top three finalist for the Raytheon Educators and Leadership Award, which is a annual Teacher of the Year Award, and he has his interview on Monday to see if he wins the award. So congratulations, Mr. Pankratz. We're proud of you, and it's well-deserved. <clears throat> also very excited that Volleyball, cross country, and golf have started their seasons. And starting October 30th, we will start, we will have the first of seven, a seven game football season. Our first game on October 30th is against Mountain View, and it's here at Flowing Wells High School. Look for more details. Well, today, the day that you're watching these announcements, is the day we're having our parent meetings. The freshman parent meetings at 9, the sophomore parent meetings at 10, the juniors at 11, and senior parents at noon. And if your parents or your, are scheduled, their meeting is scheduled after you hear these announcements, please call them and invite them to join the parent meeting. So when you do come back for hybrid learning, just remember to bring your laptop Chromebook with a charger. You bring a hydro flask or a bottle of water because our bottle refilling stations will be open, but the bubblers will not be available. So it's very important that you bring your water bottle or hydro flask and make sure you mask up flowing wells. That's all the announcements I have for now. So I'm really interested in hearing about what student council's up to. So Ryan Carrasco, why don't you tell us what's going on? Thanks, Mr. Brennan Kant. My name is Ryan Carrasco and I am your student body secretary. The student council and some of the film students wanted to let you know about the mitigation video we have been helping make. The video will be posted before fall break and available on all Google Classroom and school social medias. The video will highlight the major changes for when students come back for hybrid learning. We want you all to be aware and to know about the changes on campus, so please watch the video. Now we are going to hear from Chef E for our extended weekend weather report. Thank you and stay safe. Thank you, Ryan, and hello, caballeros. It's finally starting to feel a bit more like October, and this weekend we're looking at highs in the mid-90s and lows in the 60s. In Arizona, we call that fall weather. It's much the same next week, so make sure you get outside, but be safe and wear a mask. That's your weekend weather report, and now we're gonna take it back to Mr. Brunicamp for a trivia question. Well, thank you for that weather update, Chef E, who happens to be our teacher of the month. Yes, Chef E, our teacher of the month, just gave you a weather report. So let me recap the weather report. Hot. All right, now it's time for a trivia question. The first person who emails me the correct answer to this trivia question will earn three, three cab cards, which means you can get three sodas, or you can get the three ticket giveaway, which is a Flowing Wells lanyard. Or you can hold on to it for a Flowing Wells mask or a Flowing Wells t-shirt. Today's trivia question is a movie scene. If you don't remember, I used to be an actor before I became a teacher, so I'm going to act out a movie scene. You can tell me what movie I'm acting out, and you're the first person to email me, you'll win a prize. The prize. Here we go. 
So, Pita, tell me, is there a special girl back home? Hold on, I got to break character. It says Pita. I wonder if it means Peter. Because Peter's a real name. Pita isn't. Well, I'm just going to read the script the way it was given to me. So, I'm going to start all over again. So, Pita, tell me, is there a special girl back home? No, no, not really. No, I do not believe it for a second. Look at that face. Handsome man like you, Pita, tell me. Well, there, uh, there is one girl that I've had a crush on forever. Great character. This is grammatically incorrect because people are who's, not that. So it shouldn't say there is this one girl that I've had a crush on because a girl's a who. So it should be there is this one girl who I've had a crush on. It's just a little learning there. So back in character. Ah, uh, but I don't think she actually recognized me until the repping. Repping? Reap, reaping, maybe? Rip. Well, I'll tell you what, Pita. You go out there and you win this thing, and when you get home, she'll have to go out with you, right, folks? Thanks, but I, uh, I don't think winning's going to help me at all, and why not? Because she came here with me. Wow. That was a long time for announcements. Sorry, teachers, for ruining your lesson plan. But you know what it is what it is. Thank you, students, for working so hard on learning. Enjoy your fall break. And we will see you after fall break and on October 22nd for hybrid learning. Have a good break.